Apostle Kojo Safo Kantanka stands as a prominent figure driving technological advancement and innovation in Ghana and across Africa. His primary objective is to foster self-sufficiency on the African continent by harnessing the power of science and technology to develop devices that positively impact the people of the region. Over the years, Kantanka has pioneered various inventions ranging from the manufacturing of cars and pharmaceuticals to the development of organic fertilizers for crops and more. In today's video, we will explore some of the gadgets revealed at the Kantanka Tech Expo 2023. Stay tuned until the end of the video as we unveil groundbreaking pieces of equipment poised to transform the agricultural landscape in Ghana and beyond. I have also included timestamps in the video description. If you wish to skip to a specific section within the video, you can easily navigate to that desired time. Now, let's get started. Kantanka Tech Expo is an annual event dedicated to showcasing cutting-edge tools crafted by Apostle Kojo Safu Kantanka. The occasion took place in Awoshi at the Apostle Safu School of Art and Science. At around 11 a.m., thousands of people, the majority being members of the Christo Asafo sect, were seated waiting for the show to begin. The program was honored by prominent personalities, including traditional leaders with their entourage dressed in beautiful regalia, law enforcement agencies, private sector representatives, and dignitaries. Kojo Safo Kantanka Jr. is the initial arrival at the scene. He is the son of Apostle Kojo Safo Kantanka. Other guests made their way to their seats in anticipation of the leader's entrance. After a brief interval, Apostle Kojo Safo Kantanka is ceremoniously escorted in. Apostle Kojo Safo Kantanka was introduced to the congregation, followed by the welcome address. Onya seni abo subwe timu mesa, bo subre mu nyansa po bintu mesa ne. 
Anasi kukuruko. Wajiri mudo. Wapie ni ndiake intensu ni asome pempe. Yeeey. Anko kwa mi nkruma ni msebe wajifobi. Eme bimai. Enye ni daswa. Anko wache wakra. Okura wa yisu oduma kwa bimai wa unse mse kosia. Okurupu wa waya huma. E bimai na musu unu suru. E hunte una wama kresi broni. Anfa fita. Anani ya tuntum. Kontum kuro witu mi kwa odida on sentre ni edi. Amansi ya deshe kron 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 kron. Edia na piesi. Edia ni meura. Ye wawa. Nye wadiyo. Si ye wawa. Nye wadi. Ampa. Meka fra. The exhibition commenced with the unveiling of the latest Kantanka models for 2024 featuring pickup trucks and SUVs. The first to take the spotlight was the Kantanka Obrimpong pickup truck, designed specifically to target the challenging and rugged nature of much of the Ghanaian and African terrain. When comparing these new models to their predecessors, one cannot help but to recognize the immense effort, dedication and the commitment invested in their development. Following that was the presentation of the Kantanka Onante 4 SUV, equipped with a 4x4 wheel drive and a robust 2.4 multi-point injector engine, delivering optimal performance on the road. Next was the Kantanka Omama pickup, a high-performance vehicle with a 2.8-liter turbo diesel engine. Kantanka Omama has a strong suspension with upper and lower swing arms, providing a smooth ride. The vehicle has a slick design with a curved waistline, making it look good and also helping to cut through the air smoothly. The interior was well crafted with meticulous attention to every detail. Next in line was the fourth edition of the Kantanka Insurer. The vehicle is entirely crafted by hand, offering a luxurious experience with its bulletproof glass doors. Inside, you will find a spacious interior featuring a large flat screen and advanced infotainment systems. At last, the long-awaited moment unfolded as the Kantanka Corn Combine Harvester, also known as the Kantanka Hono Ebro, was introduced. The machine seamlessly combines the separate tasks of the harvesting and separation of green crops into a single automated step, an otherwise labor-intensive series of operations done separately. The harvester is engineered to efficiently harvest several types of grain crops such as corn, wheat, soybeans and rice depending on its configuration. It is set up differently for each crop with different hairs being attached for different types of crops. Initially, the crop is collected by the machine's head but in this particular scenario, maize is manually fed into the machine since it is not a corn field. The crop goes through a fast spinning rotor which separates the grain from the stalk or ear from the cob. The mix moves to the threshing segment towards the back and falls onto the chaffers and sieves which are vibrating. There is a fan blowing air through the mixture which separates the grains from the chaff. The separated grains travel by conveyor into the crop tank. The unwanted stalks, husks, cups, and bits of leaves known as the residue move along from different conveyors as more grain falls through into the tank. The process is repeated until all the grains have fallen through the sieves. When a crop tank is full, a tractor with a cut on the back pulls alongside the harvester. 
an elevator carries the harvested crop and shoots it out of a side pipe onto the cart. The leftover crop part then comes out of the back of the machine and they can either be spread over a wide area or built to use as a bedding for animals. The Kantanka Hunu Ebro is a marvelous piece of equipment and if adopted by government agencies, private businesses and individuals in the agriculture sector, it could greatly enhance productivity and reduce the cost associated with human labor. The combine harvester comes as a backdrop of the mobile irrigation machine, locally referred to as the Kantanka Nyansaboakwa, which was released by Kantanka last year. The multi-purpose tractor has a 14,000 liter capacity and a spraying coverage width of 114 feet, with each arm extending approximately 57 feet. In an hour, the tractor can irrigate nearly 80 acres, depending on the soil depth and crop type. A device can also be employed for the application of fertilizers and pesticides. By combining these two devices, one dedicated to nurturing crops from the nursing ground through to the harvesting stage and the other focused on efficiently harvesting and separating grain crops, Ghana's agricultural sector holds immense potential to meet the country's demand for food. After showcasing all the featured devices, Apostle Kojo Safo Kantanka was given the microphone to deliver his speech. He emphasized the importance of self-sustainability, questioning the practice of importing almost everything, including food from abroad, when it can be cultivated organically here in Ghana. <laughs> He urged mass media to prioritize broadcasting and discussion on development and technology with the same attention and energy given to politics. He also discussed the importance of training people and arming them with the skills to be creators, which he is actively involved. Apostle praised the team who assisted him in manufacturing this equipment and invited them to come over to be recognized. This was to dispel any doubt about the involvement of foreigners in the creation process. He even showcased some components like the control board that were used in developing the devices. I vividly recall when Kantanka unveiled its initial car model back in 2014. Reflecting on that moment and considering the present, it's undeniable that Kantanka has accomplished a remarkable feat. I hope the government will increase its support to further develop specialized equipment crucial for the nation's progress. What are your thoughts on Apostle's accomplishment? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Kindly like and share the video with others. Thank you and I'll catch you in the next one.